Welcome to Let's Build a Willys Jeep. We are working on the electrical wiring on your 1947 CJ2A Willys Jeep. We have finished working on the main harness on the previous videos, and now we are going to be working on your rear harness, and it will come out of this hole located right here and make sure you have a rubber garment. And I'll take you into the interior of the Jeep and show you which wire connects to where. We are now in the interior of your Jeep. And this is where the rear harness will feed through your firewall and connect to your main harness, which we've installed in our last video. This right here is your Wax four-wheel drive parts wiring diagram for your tail light harness or for your rear harness and I'll go over which wire generally goes where. One, two, three, four, five will connect to your main harness, just match the colors. Six and seven are connected to your master cylinder and it branches off your tail light harness and now going down the wire to eight, nine, and 10. Eight, nine, and 10 are for your tail lights, turn signal and brake light, and turn signal and brake light, because there's left and right. Now moving over to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. These are all of these wires right here, and they actually connect to your tail lights on the back of your Jeep. So four of the wires for tail lights and four of your wires are for your turn signal and brake lights. Where my finger is, this is the main harness and there will be one, two, three, four, five wires that will branch off your main harness and be connected to your rear harness. There'll be one red with a white tracer two yellows with a black tracer and two green wires with one white tracer and they'll have connections on them so you can connect your rear harness into your main harness and as you see all you have to do is match the colors from your main harness to your rear harness here so red goes with red yellow goes with, with yellow and same with our other yellow one and the green goes with green and so on. And now these wires will just plug into these Wax for wheel drive parts plugins. Once you plug your wires into your main harness, push your rear harness through the top hole, as you can see where my finger is pointing, way up there, and make sure you use a rubber garment to protect the wires. The wire will come out of the firewall and feed down your firewall and go into the frame towards the back. These two green wires with the one white tracer will plug directly into your brake light that's attached to your master cylinder. Following my finger, the wire goes down into the frame I am now down underneath the Jeep and my finger is the wire feeds through the frame and keeps going along the frame. Continue with feeding your wire through the frame, push it through the frame where my finger is and just push, keep pushing it all the way back. It'll loop around your cross member on your frame. It'll feed back into the frame and all the way to the back where the leaf spring approximately is. Continue to feed your wire down through the frame. And way back in here is where all the connections will be to connect your other harnesses for your rear lights. All of the connections should be located within your frame as it'll protect it more from the elements. And it's the same style as the other connections I showed you. We connected the main harness 
to this rear harness, just match the colors. When connecting the wires at the rear here, red is for your tail lights and yellow is for the turn signals. Matching the colors with your rear light harness, feed the wire all the way through the back side of your bumper here and just keep going until you get to the other side. Continue feeding your wire through your frame. You have to drill a hole and the wire will keep going up and attach to the wires on your rear lights. Way up there, my finger's pointing. If you are using aftermarket rear lights, I would just use these simple connections, the push and type terminals. So if you need to change the light out, you can and don't have to rewire all of the back harness. I am now on the driver's side and do the same step, but this wire will be considerably shorter as the actual main harness for the rear lights is right located right here. And the wires will go through your frame, feed them up along your rear bumper here, and that goes up the tub and connects to your other light in the same manner as we did for the passenger side.